clarify something. Do you believe that Joe Biden was the legitimate victor of the 2020 election? And do you believe that Donald Trump is just flat wrong when he says the election was stolen? Look, uh, we've answered this question a, a long time. Joe Biden is the president. I think you can look that there's a lot of problems still within the election process. They just arrested a former Democratic congressman just the other, was it yesterday in Pennsylvania and Philadelphia? Um, and as we find a lot more information out there, we want to make sure more people have the ability to vote and that it's as secure and with the election where we go. But, but that yes, wasn't my question. That wasn't my question. Yeah, I mean, your question. Know, your question was, was, was it, in the White House. Was it legitimate? Was Donald Trump wrong when he says the election was stolen? You know, Jonathan, we talked about question. this a long time. I've already answered that question. No, what, Thank what you. What was the answer? Is Donald Thank Trump you. We'll wrong move on now. Thank you very much. Thank you that, very much. The... You said both publicly and privately after January 6th that you thought Trump bore some responsibility for the attack. Do you still feel like he was in any way responsible for January Look, I've answered that many times. I thought everybody in the country bared some responsibility based upon what's been going on, the riots on the streets, the others. Ah, so everyone in the country bears responsibility for January 6th. Not merely the insurrectionists who showed up seeking to assassinate Nancy Pelosi and Mike Pence. Not merely Donald Trump for creating the big lie that an election that he lost was somehow stolen. Not merely the Republican officials who repeated that lie knowing full well and even admitting in private that they knew he lost. Nope. We're apparently all responsible for the events of January 6th, and here I was thinking that I had nothing to do with it. Here's how it works with Republicans. Either they'll blame the Democrats for everything, or if they are so blatantly, obviously, clearly at fault, like was the case with January 6th, well, then the best they can do is to blame both sides. They graciously concede that the only way they'll take some responsibility is only if that responsibility is also offset by the Democrats' equal culpability. So if you're wondering why people like me rail against this idea that we have to both sides everything, it's because this is the natural progression of that. We've been trained to think that everything is a both sides issue when the coup attempt on the US Capitol is decidedly a one side issue. Let's just be clear, what Kevin McCarthy is doing is still to this day, perpetuating the same apologist bullshit that led to January 6th. The Republican Party's inability to be honest about the 2020 election is what landed us here in the first place. And yet even now, after a literal coup attempt, still, still Kevin McCarthy can't find it in himself to say with any semblance of clarity that the election was free and fair and that Joe Biden was the legitimately elected winner. He can only bring himself to make the declaration that Joe Biden is the president, which of course is a nod to those far right lunatics who also refuse to concede that the election was fair. So if you're wondering why those insurrectionists believe the big lie, it's because even the other Republicans who had the power to speak out instead did what Kevin McCarthy is doing right this very moment. Here's the thing, Kevin McCarthy isn't just a coward, although he is a coward, he is complicit. He is actively, to this day, pushing the exact same disinformation that caused the insurrection on January 6th. Even after seeing the devastating impacts of these outright lies, the guy is such a chicken shit, so small, so pathetic, so scared of falling out of Trump's good graces, that he can't bring himself to acknowledge objective reality. At first, I found it hard to believe that this guy was the leader of the GOP in the House because he doesn't seem capable of leading an applause break, but it makes perfect sense because to lead that party means you have to be completely spineless, to be willing to bend to the every fleeting whim of a serial liar and con man who incited a rebellion against this country. Country. You need to be a complete empty suit, a coward and a puppet, and that is Kevin McCarthy to a T. So as we watch these January 6th committee hearings, just remember, the 2020 election wasn't stolen, there is no evidence that the election was stolen, there is no evidence of fraud, they never provided even a single example of it in more than 60 court cases, including at the hands of judges who Trump himself appointed. It wasn't proven among Republican secretaries of state or governors, the vote counts were all confirmed by recounts and audits, including audits by Republican operatives. Republicans know the election wasn't stolen, just like they knew that Trump himself was responsible for the insurrection. If they didn't, then why did Republican lawmakers send texts to Trump chief of staff saying, hey Mark, protesters are literally storming the Capitol, breaking in windows and doors, rushing in, is Trump going to say something? Why did Trump administration officials text, POTUS has to come out firmly and tell protesters to dissipate, someone is going to get killed, and Mark, he needs to stop this, now, and tell them to go home, and POTUS needs to calm this shit down? Why did Fox hosts like Laura Ingram text, hey Mark, the president needs to tell people in the Capitol to go home, this is hurting all of us, he's destroying his legacy. Or Brian Kilmeade's text, please get him on TV, destroying everything you have accomplished. Or Hannity's text, can he make a statement, ask people to leave the Capitol? Why did Don Jr. text,
text. He's got to condemn this shit ASAP. The Capitol Police tweet is not enough. We did an oval address. He has to lead now. It has gone too far and gotten out of hand. Seems weird for all of those people to demand a response from Trump if they didn't think Trump was the one responsible, if they didn't think Trump was the only person who these insurrectionists would respond to, if they didn't think Trump was the reason that they were there. Their actions on that day betrayed what they really thought. So while they get on their hands and knees now to grovel at Trump's feet with performative theatrics, just know that they know the truth. They've just made the political calculation to lie. So when you hear people like Kevin McCarthy refuse to acknowledge that Joe Biden was the legitimately elected winner of the election, they're not saying it because they believe it, they are saying it because they believe that their supporters are dumb enough to. To see more videos like this, click the subscribe button right here on the screen. And to support my work beyond that, check out my podcast, No Lie with Brian Tyler Cohen, where I cover the week's most important stories and interview the biggest players in the world of politics, including President Biden, Kamala Harris, Pete Buttigieg, Elizabeth Warren, Katie Porter, and so many more. The link is also right here on this screen. And finally, to take action yourself and sign petitions on the most important issues, go to briantylercohen.com petition.